This is the training video on how to cut a left hand OD thread on a Prototrack TRL lathe. Today we're going to cut a 3 quarter 16 left hand thread, as you can see in this diagram. First up is tool selection. Here is a typical OD threading insert you might use, but since we're going to be approaching the piece from the back side, there's no place to touch off the Z axis in tool setup. So we're going to have to use a threading insert that looks more like this, and as you can see here, it has that space to touch off on the left side. Now on to tool setup. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn the tool around in the tool holder. We're approaching the piece from the back, so when you put the tool holder in the tool post, the tool will actually be facing you. On the Prototrack, I'm actually demonstrating this using the offline software. Here we are in Setup, click Tool Setup. Insert tool 1. I'm going to select number 7, thread OD. And now here we are in the tool setup screen. Typically, when touching off your tool in the X direction, you're going to touch it off in the front of the piece. But in this case, we're actually going to touch it off in the back. As you can see, we are behind the piece as we touch it off here. Back on the screen, I'm going to enter negative 0.75 in the X direction. Now this is one of the biggest differences between this and a right hand thread. In a left hand thread, the x value has to be negative. And for the z direction, we're going to touch the left hand side of the insert to the front of the piece, like you normally would. And then when we have that, here we are in the prototrack, we're just going to enter 0, press ab set, and then we're good. So now let's go in back into setup, let's set up our home position. Just go into reference position, and I'm going to set it at 8, 4, I just kind of want it toward me so I can change my tooling and do everything else I need to do. Now our tools are set. Let's go on to programming. Let's take another quick look at our diagram here. As we can see, we have a 3 quarter inch diameter piece and we are threading 3 quarters inch in with a pitch of 0 0.0625 inches between threads. So here let's click program. All right, I'm going to hit the help key and let's go ahead and name our program left thread. Now here, I'm actually programming with the offline software as well. Uh, if you're not familiar, your sales rep can give you more information on the offline software package. All right, go ahead and click Go to Begin. And then, now, I'm going to actually select a position event as my first event. We're going to program position events in before and after we cut our thread. Now, the reason for this is that here is where we're going to finish up after the thread is cut. Now, our home position is somewhere down here. so. The Prototrack thinks we're doing a right-hand thread, so it's going to rapid straight through the part to its home. So if we put a position event about right here, we can avoid that. Back on the screen, let's just go ahead and uh, program our position event here. Let's put it at negative 1 for the x direction and about 0.5 in the z direction. So let's say yes, put about 800 RPM, and of course we're just using our tool 1. Now for the thread event, let's select thread, and let's begin to program this. For the x, we're going to put in negative 0.75, remember we are coming in from the back side of the piece. Z, let's put 0.1, we're going to start slightly off the piece. For the x end, we're going, we're not doing a tapered thread, so let's keep it the same. And the z end, again, like the diagram said before, we're going in 3 quarters inch in. Okay, our pitch is 16 per inch, and I'm just going to speed through some of these. N none of this these last few options here are any different than any normal thread. So let's just make sure everything is good. Then let's go on. We're going to do that second position event, and I'm just going to put it to the same exact position we did before. So negative 1 and 0.5. And then let's just go ahead and finish up here. Perfect. Now let's take a look. Looks reasonable. And then let's go ahead and check out the tool path. Go ahead and click Toolpath here, and that looks good. And you'll notice that position event uh, right before it comes in for the thread. So now we're very confident we are not going to crash. Now let's run it. This should all look familiar. Let's select Run. Now let's go ahead and go on over and select Start. Now there is one more thing we have to consider when running a left-hand thread is that the spindle, we're actually going to want to start here, the spindle, in reverse. All right, let's press go and get it on its way. Here it is running. It's going to that first position event. It's going to come in. All right, that looks pretty good. 
So it's going to take a couple of passes here. Here it is taking its last few passes. And afterwards it's going to go back to that position, avoid the end of the piece, go back to its home, and it's done. Let's recap how a left-hand thread is different than a right-hand thread. First, select a threading insert with room to touch off. Second, touch the tool off in the X direction on the back of the piece. Third, enter negative numbers for all X values. Fourth, add a position event to avoid a possible crash. And finally, run the spindle in reverse. With these tips, you should be successful with running a left-hand thread. But as always, if you should have any questions, please call our service department at 1-800-367-3165.